Google Voice is a great tool for enhancing the existing capabilities of your phone. For those that teach students and you want to provide students access uh, via phone to you but not necessarily give out your personal uh, perhaps cell phone number to your students, um, you could set up a Google Voice account and students could call your Google Voice number and that number could then ring whichever phones you uh, wish. So let's take a look in this screencast how to get started with Google Voice and most importantly how do you go about uh, creating a Google Voice widget um, basically making it easy for your students to uh, call you uh, directly from the learning management system. We're going to look at specifically how do you embed a Google Voice widget within a Blackboard course. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is go over to uh, voice.google.com so head over there and sign in with your Google account you'll find um, it's really easy to get started uh, you simply sign in with your Google account and uh, the first time you log into Google Voice you may be prompted to uh, set up an account after you do that um, you, you'll see here that you can uh, make and receive calls as well as texts so if you want to provide students the opportunity to perhaps text message you uh, to get respond back in a text message form um, they can actually send a text message to your Google Voice number and then you can uh, receive that through um, the Google Voice web interface or even uh, the various mobile apps that Google provides for Google Voice. We're going to focus though today on how to create a uh, voice widget and uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, place that within a Blackboard course. When you're logged into your Google Voice account look for the little cog icon for settings. When you click on that you can go into the settings for Google Voice. Here's where you can adjust which numbers uh, Google Voice uh, will ring so when uh, someone calls your number uh, I currently have my Google Voice number set up to ring my cell phone and my work office number at the same time. I could have it go to Google Chat or even my home number if I wish. Um, but here's where you can you can make those adjustments. Um, you can also take a look and see your voicemail and texts. Um, we're going to look at call widgets. This is what we're going to take a look at here today. And Call widgets simply uh, is a button, if you will, uh, that you can place within any web page. Uh, could be a blog, uh, any other external website, uh, but we're going to look at how would you put that widget within your Blackboard course. And then when someone clicks on the widget uh, and they enter their information, um, Google will then call your number, uh, keep your number private, but allow your students um, or anyone you wish to to basically call you. So we're going to create a new widget. We simply click the link here to add a new call widget. And uh, we'll give this widget a name. Um, I'm just going to call, call this my first widget. This kind of gives you a peek at what this widget's going to look like. And you get to select then which of your numbers do you want to um, Google to ring. So maybe in this instance I want my cell phone and my office number both to uh, to ring. I can also instead I can have it instead of ringing I can have it send directly to voicemail. So if I do want students the option to call and leave me a message I could uh, select that option instead. Um, then you can set up even a greeting whether it's the system standard greeting or you can uh, you could go ahead and uh, record a new greeting uh, if you want. Um, call presentation um, has to do with announcing the caller's name and um, giving you answering options um, before you pick up the, uh, the, the phone call. So we're going to hit save changes and now our widget has been created and this is the bit of code, this embed code is what you need to put this uh, widget within your Blackboard course. So uh, by clicking in this box I'm going to right click and select the copy option or the shortcut would be Control C on Windows or Command C on Mac. Uh, so we've copied this uh, bit of code and now we're going to head into our Blackboard course and simply go into any content area. Uh, and in essence you can put this widget anywhere where you can edit a text box. So we're going to go into information and uh, with edit mode on we're going to go to build content and we're going to add a new item. And uh, we'll call this item uh, call your instructor and then we'll go down to the text box here and you need to go into the HTML uh, view of this item so you see this 
A small button, it looks like a less than greater than symbol. This will toggle the HTML source mode. So by clicking on that, I'm going to delete whatever's here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and paste in that embed code that we received from the Google Voice page just a moment ago. And then scroll to the bottom and click Submit. So now if I go ahead and turn off edit mode so you can see this uh, preview. Now you see our widget, uh, call your instructor, and we can click on the widget. It's an interactive widget, so I can go ahead and put my name in here. Um, I could enter my phone number and hit connect. And at this point, my phone, uh, my computer would actually dial up and would ring my phone. I'm not going to go through that process at this point. Uh, but this just shows you the ability to create the widget and put it within your Blackboard course. Again, you could go through the same process in any website, uh, not just Blackboard. Uh, but this gives you a sense of how you can embed that call widget within your Blackboard course.